shows the general the general view has been that they you know particularly the ones where their match is bridged the without and then with they they thought it was better I think John Higgins sort of um, he played his first session without the the noises as you say sort of with they walk out and after after centuries and at the end of frames and he said the first session felt like he was going to mass and uh, and, and then and then and then afterwards he felt there was a bit of improvement a bit of cheer for the players and i think it's been well received to the point where the you know, the authorities world snooker tour are just having a look about maybe whether they could extend it i mean we all know when we watch snooker on the tv if someone does a really good long pot there is a sort of outburst of applause and that sort of is missing i think both for the players and maybe the viewers as well so They'll have a look at that, but it would need someone who really knows what they're doing and knows the game well on the buttons, or it could all go horribly wrong. We're, we're quite well known for clearing our throats and coughing on air uh, over the years, so perhaps they could take a soundtrack of us <laughs> just playing, because you do, you do miss that as well, the old coughing. Well, yeah, I think that would be authentic. One or two, one or two of the, the sort of uh, the witty jibes from the players coming off saying that they, they really wanted to make it authentic. They'd have the coughs and the <laughs> sneezing and the ri- and the mobile phones going off and the sweet wrappers <laughs> rustling. So who, who knows? Maybe we'll get the full the full panoply by the end of the tournament.